Hey, no, no, Thanks, guys. No. Thank you. Ready, ready for the main oh. event. How would you describe your I have to say, I'm a little surprised, Akita. I was kind of half expecting you to show up today without a shirt on. <laughs> That's only after the cup. <laughs> only after the cup. That's the rule. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the last time we saw Nikita Kucherov, he was happy. elated. I didn't want to go back to Montreal. And Frank. They acted, the fans in Montreal, come on. They acted like they won the Stanley Cup last game. And you probably already noticed he was also shirtless. It was a moment, a rare window into the inner life of one of the game's best. A 28-year-old two-time Stanley Cup champion, a league MVP, thirsty for more. When Nikita Kucherov was growing up in Moscow at the turn of the 21st century, the NHL wasn't on TV in Russia. But then came YouTube, and with its advent, young Nikita would find his heroes. The Russian Five, who'd been so dominant years earlier with the powerhouse Red Wings of the 1990s. Lariana to Constantino, to Federer, he scores! Oh my, that is pretty! Larianov, Konstantinov, Fedorov, Fetisov, Koslov. So that's the, where I actually start researching and see how they play and what they do. And that was really, you know, inspiring to me. I had that picture when they had lifted the cup after they won. And I wanted to do it myself one day. And that was just kind of a dream I was following as a kid. By 2011, Kucherov had absorbed enough lessons from the Russian Five to be an NHL prospect himself. But virtually no one saw him as a future superstar. I was told that I'm going to be uh, really late in rounds or maybe not even get drafted. I was never in top 100, I think, before the draft. And all the scouts reports were, you know, he's too small, he's too skinny, or he's too slow. But the Lightning saw things others didn't and selected him in the second round. Two years later, November 24th, 2013, Kucherov was called up. And the next night, he announced his arrival. I still remember his first shift in NHL. I think he scored on, on Hank against the Rangers. Teddy Person in front. There's a shot. They score! The youngster Kucherov scoring his first NHL goal. My mindset was just to go out there and have fun. Lundqvist. Lundqvist, yeah. It's <laughs> a good goalie. It's a good way to introduce yourself to the NHL. You score against uh, one of the best goalies in the league, it definitely gives you a little boost. An auspicious debut, but a modest rookie season just 18 points. But over the next few seasons, Kucherov would emerge as one of the game's most dynamic players. Shoot, score! Fire, score! A bomb from Kucherov! Then, three years ago in the 2018-19 season, Kucherov, now 25, ascended to an even higher level. That's when he scored 128 points. The most in the salary cap era by anyone and the most by a Russian ever. He won the Hart Trophy as the league's MVP. I look back to my draft year where they're all talking about my size and I'm small, I'm too scared and all that stuff. Now I just wanna like, you know, point that like, what about now, like, what do you say now? Kucherov steals from a falling Krejci and puts the dagger in the Bruins' hearts. What's it been like watching Nikita Kucherov become the player that he's become? Coming from another country, not knowing the language, and to watch his growth. There were so many different things that have gone into the growth of Nikita Kucherov. To now, to me, top three players in the world. In the spring of 2019, there was a crushing first round loss for Kucherov and the Lightning. But the next season, with the schedule shortened by the pandemic, playing in the bubble. The Lightning win the Stanley Cup! They have reached the top of the mountain! But just as the Lightning's title defense was about to get underway, Tampa Bay will raise its second Stanley Cup championship banner opening night against the Blackhawks. Unfortunately for Tampa, Nikita Kucherov will have hip surgery and miss the regular season. That was kind of, you know, tough to, to accept. 
that you're gonna miss the regular season, but uh, but that's something I had to do. With Kucherov out, missing all 56 games, the Lightning had the league's eighth best record. But when the playoffs got underway, he was back, controversially. With expanded rosters, there's no salary cap limit during the playoffs. And Tampa would otherwise have been over. There were those who didn't like what happened, that you were out for the whole regular season and then back when the salary cap limitations were not in effect. What, was, what were you thinking about that when people were, were talking about it? Well, to be honest, I, I don't care about this, those people. You know, this is just the outside noise and I got nothing to explain to them. The Lightning have done it! They, they have again. gone back to back! <laughs> they have won the Stanley Cup! Kucherov repeated as the top scorer in the playoffs, and the Lightning repeated too. That was huge, obviously a big boost for us as a team. For a guy to go through a surgery like that and be back in time for the playoffs was obviously very fortunate, but just the way he had delivered was uh, unbelievable. We have Nikita Kucherov. Media, please raise your hand if you have a question. We'll start with Joe Smith. But there was more to Kucherov's shirtlessness than met the eye. Let's hear it. We all went to, to see our families, and you know, my son never seen me um, with the full gear on, and you know, he was just kind of, you know, a little scared. So I had to take everything off, and he recognized me right away, and you know, gave me a hug and a kiss. So I had to go shirtless, and you know, all of a sudden there's a couple of drinks in, and a cup, and pictures, and and there's somebody called me for the interview. These days, the kid who learned so much about the game on YouTube is, like his heroes, the Russian Five, a multiple Stanley Cup champion and a highlight reel unto himself. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.